Okay. It's fun to paddleboard out there. Yeah, it is. And we can calm. still go to the beach. We can still go to the beach. Yeah. Yeah. We'll and you know what? Beach. It's okay for the tourists to go to San Monica. I mean, it's so iconic. Look at exactly. Also, right. not going in the water there. Yeah. <laughs> Might not want to go in the water. You know. Yeah, that's something we should probably let them know. But yeah, definitely <laughs> beautiful tell them. to go you visit. Tell them your <laughs> Don't go in the water. I'm just saying we can't knock it, you know, because yeah. when we go somewhere, we go to, to like the hot spots, right? The, when we go to New York, we visit Times Square, and I know a lot of people locally would say don't go there, but you know. Yeah, so it's okay to visit Santa Monica. It's so beautiful. Look at this. This is why people come to visit us. All right, so yes, we do have um, some, uh, you know, waters that are not that great, but it's okay. Uh, as we head toward the afternoon, you're definitely going to want to be near some sort of body of water because, or even the weekend, because things are warming up. High pressure is really starting to strengthen. Today, we're looking at temperatures a few degrees warmer than yesterday. Santa Monica right now in the upper 60s. But take a look at the dew point. Dew point is still in the low 60s, so that means we still have a little bit more of that mugginess, right? along the coast and we're going to continue to feel a little bit more of that stickiness for our standards. Our dew point normally should be in the mid 50s. That's when it's nice and dry. But anytime it gets into the upper 50s, low 60s, we definitely feel it. So the monsoonal moisture will be returning this afternoon. So the warming trend also continues. Peak heat will be this weekend. This is where we have the major to extreme heat risk, especially as you get away from the coast. This afternoon, though, just know that we still could see the chance of these isolated thunderstorms and showers rumbling over some of the mountain and our desert communities. The air will get a little drier as we head toward the weekend, but then that monsoonal moisture starts to pick back up again at the start of next week. All right, so yesterday we had excessive heat watches for a lot of our inland communities. A lot of the watches like the Santa Cruz Valley, the foothills of L.A., and also the Antelope Valley of L.A. County have now turned into warnings, warning you that it's not only going to be hot during the afternoons, but it's going to be really warm overnight as well where we don't get that relief. But this all starts on Friday, and this is going to last with us till the middle of next week. We now have heat advisors as well for the Inland Empire also starting tomorrow lasting until Sunday and it's all because of this high pressure system. This high pressure system is going to continue to work its way closer to us and really bring in all that heat to the area as we head into the next few days. Right now the because of where the high pressure system is located over the Four Corners region, this is what's filtering in a little bit more of that monsoonal flow. And that's why we could see these isolated thunderstorms and showers pop up as we head toward the afternoon. So this is something that we're watching. And there is a chance in some spots this morning, uh, if it does make it way to the ground, we could see some showers. But right now it doesn't look like we're going to see too much of it. Most of it will stay up in the higher elevations, but we just can't uh, rule that out. High pressure gets closer to us, moves closer to the Great Basin area as we head toward this upcoming weekend and that's why those temperatures will continue to spike as we head into the next few days. We're actually going to stay above average through the middle of next week. Temperatures today mid 80s for LA and Orange County, 90s by the weekend, triple digits starting tomorrow for the valleys. It gets even hotter over the weekend 106 and then you stay pretty much 106 105 through the start of next week. Inland Empire 99 today, triple digits also starting tomorrow. Back to you.